You are listening to the Crazy Town Podcast, Are You Urban Anthologies, Volume 1, The Melody Pang Trilogy. Mm. Yeah, TNT, Her. your arch nemesis. <laughs> all right, this is just the Are You Urbans that all involve Melody Pang, great competitor on Are You Urban, and that's it, everybody. Enjoy the Are You Urban Anthology, Volume 1. Bang! Welcome to a very special edition of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I am your host, and I am here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. TNT, we don't have much going on today. Are you sure? It's, it's the Are You Urban Anthologies, oh, Volume 1. Oh. These are the three Melody Pang Are You Urbans. Oh my, the Voldemort to my, uh... Fuck. I keep thinking Naruto. <laughs> what, what is his name? Harry Potter. Oh, okay. the Voldemort to my you. Harry Potter. You. Yeah, it was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, those are three fucking very good. Are you urban games? Yeah, she's she's a she's a skill competitor. She really is. Um, you can also you can follow her at mpeng eleven m p e n g eleven on Twitter. I don't think we include any of that in any of these clips. So and also make sure you follow us on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash crazytownmedia. That is where you can find our live podcast starting in season three. We also follow us on YouTube at Crazy Town Media. All right. We're going to get right into it, TNT. Enjoy the Melody Pang trilogy. Where am I? And welcome back to the Crazy Town Podcast, where we're here to have the Are You Urban Game of the Ages? Melody Pang versus TNT Dynamite. Will he fall, folks? Will he lose a game? I'm not going easy on you. Good, don't. <laughs> First of all, listeners, let me break it down again real quick. What Are You Urban is, it's our Urban, urban Dictionary-based game. How it works, there's ten words. Some of them I'll read the definition, they give me the word. Some of them I'll read the word, they'll give me the definition. The person who's asked the question first gets first crack to answer. If they get it right, they get a point. If they do not get it right, the other person can steal for two points. And if neither person gets it right, I give out a pity point for the best answer that was given. So that's really it. We'll go back and forth for ten words. Whoever has the best score is the winner. So, uh, uh, Melody, you are our guest. Why don't you uh, pick a number between one and ten who's ever closest they'll get to pick, Who, if they want to go first or last. Number six. TNT? That's that's such a safe number. I'm going 10, Jonas. All right, well, the, the number was four. So, Melody, do you want to go first, or do you want to go second? Uh, I'll go first. All right, cool. All right, here we go. The first question is going to be uh, one that I give you the word, and you give me the definition. What if okay. this was submitted on January 19th, 2012 to Urban Dictionary by Not Happy Jan 25? Oh yeah. What is not happy jam? What is <laughs> the brown touch? The brown touch is what happens when you get poked through when you're wiping your ass after you take a big dump. Oh my <laughs> fucking god! Actually, she that got is, it. That, no, that's incorrect. But I love the. Answer. That's not it. No, that's not what? it. Oh, that's okay. good. Holy that's good. shit! Wow, you I'm submitting remember. a new definition. Yeah, you gotta remember <laughs> these are just random people submitting these answers, so they can be I, anything. So. I honestly thought that she got it right because that's what I thought it was, but that helped me out a little bit. Okay. All right. What do you got, TNT? Uh, I believe that the brown touch is... He gets so technical on his answers, Melody. <laughs> I was an English major. <laughs> um, the brown touch, I believe, is uh, that that feeling that you get when you have to take a urgent bowel movement. <laughs> no, that's wrong as well. Give me the buzzer. What it is... I'm giving Melody the, the pity point, because that was the best answer yeah, I've ever sure heard. Did, yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> the correct answer 
is similar to the Midas touch, but instead of everything you touch turning to gold, everything turns to shit. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I like hers way better, even though, even though... Uh, yeah, yeah, she earned it, dude. Yeah, absolutely. All right. <laughs> I thought All right. it was the right this answer. This is the first time he's been losing ever at this game, TNT, by the way. Holy shit. All right. She's come swinging. Your, your answer, or your word, what is... Oh, wait, it was submitted by Misfit on December 7th, 2003. What mm-hmm. is Jimmy Jazz? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Jimmy I can, Jazz? I can use it in a sentence, but it's not going to help you. All right, can, can you use it in a sentence even though it's not going to help me? Man, that dude is pulling a Jimmy Jazz. <laughs> <laughs> can I Can I have, is, is it a, a noun, verb, adjective? Oh, it doesn't say, man. Um, it is, uh, I guess it's kind of a verb. Yeah, I oh. guess. Yeah. It's kind of country, a verb. Country of origin is American. You like to ask that? It's American. That's my, that's my favorite part of speech. It's kind of a verb. <laughs> yeah, thanks. It's helpful. <laughs> um, Dude, they don't, give, jazz, I, what? they don't give what it is on Urban Dictionary, man. Come on. Uh, dude, they need to. Come on, I thought this was a professional program. <laughs> I think that Jimmy Jazz is uh, some sort of redirection, uh, trying to point somebody in a, in a direction to get their mind off of the uh, task at hand. Okay, that is incorrect. Melody, well, what you got? I think pulling a Jimmy Jazz is, is what happens uh, with your straight guy friends who turn a little gay when they're wasted. <laughs> Pity point. That is not right, but I'm giving it to her. You better bring your step up your A game, TNT. You're, you're, Ooh, you're, you're, is... <laughs> she's gonna shut you out. Fucking trained. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I submitted all of these myself. Yeah, she is misfit <laughs> and not happy. She in twenty five. Uh, the actual answer is to be consistently drunk for more than 48 hours and lack control. How the fuck is that what it is? That's what, hey man, I missed it. Call him up, bro. It's an adverb, motherfucker. Describing your drunkenness. Alright. You get the buzzer. <laughs> you win. That's for you. Melody, this one is, I'm yeah. going to give you the definition, and then you got to try to guess the word. Okay. This was submitted by Nilistic Zero on March thir- March 12th, 2004. It's the time of day at which drinking a beer becomes necessity. The term is 10 a.m. <laughs> no, good no. guess, though. No, no. That, that's a good guess. TNT, you got anything? <laughs> well, Jonas, I believe that the term you're looking for is beer 30. <laughs> that is correct. It is oh. two two points for the steal. Look at you coming up in the clutch. <laughs> Damn, how the hell did you know that, dude? I wouldn't have gotten because that. Because I'm a millennial, bro. I, <laughs> this is, this is our culture. You're the oldest millennial in the country. We've already talked about that. <laughs> I don't care. I'm a millennial, bro. Oh, whatever. You're not going to trick me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's your, here's your, here's your definition. Submitted by right. No Mercy with an I. 366 on February 19th, 2005. Someone who has super, super, uh, let me start over. Someone who has surpassed the levels of jerk and asshole, however, not yet reached fucker or motherfucker. Ooh. 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 Um. Is it, is it just me? Is it me? Is it TNT Dynamite? <laughs> is that your real answer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And... All right. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, it's coming, it's coming. There, there it is. <laughs> Melody, what do you got? Um, I would call this person a douchebag or a dickhole. Which one are you going to pick? Oh, my God, is one of them right? Um, no. no. Man, when was this, 2004? Five. 2005? Ugh. I'm going to go with douchebag. Two points for oh, the steal. That is absolutely correct. It is douchebag. It's fucking douchebag. <laughs> it is douchebag. Isn't that about around the time people started using that term? That's why I, I give the date. I give the I give the <laughs> date because it may help you t- date the reference exactly. Dude, that's that's crazy. I wasn't even alive then, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, you're 12 years old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you said 95, right? No, I don't know. Whatever. Let's go. Good job. Yeah, that was good. All right, Melody, your, your word. Here's, here's the actual word. I need the definition. What is a buster? Submitted a by buster? submitted by Silent E, September 9th, 2005. A buster is another word for a scrub. Uh, yeah, I'll give you that. Someone who can't hang or just acting like a punk bitch. So, yeah, I mean... Oh, <laughs> that was a fucking layup! That was a layup! They're random, dude. <laughs> they're, 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 they're random, man. You're, you're, you're falling behind. You need to step your game up. Yeah. What can I do, man? <laughs> what can I do? All right, your your word. What is Vader Vapor? Submitted by Jeff Bo, May twenty fifth, two thousand nine. <laughs> Gives me Vader Vapor. You get what's a buster? And I was <laughs> straight from TLC lyrics. I know, right? <laughs> we were just talking about you and your ninety music. All right, Vader Vapor. Can can we spell the first part of the word? I know the second part. V a t o r. V a t o r. T as oh, in not trench. like Darth Vader. Right. Yeah. Right. See, right. and you see, that's why I haven't spelled it. People think I'm bullshitting when I tell. Now, the country <laughs> of origin. It's American. Okay, <laughs> dude. Vator. V a t o r. Yes. Vapor. Yes. V a p o r. Correct. All right, this is the the act of uh, blowing a V shaped cloud when one vapes their <laughs> electronic cigarette device. Okay, you're wrong, but was, I know. vaping wasn't even around in 2009, dude. Well, dude, what the fuck? No, you don't know what it is either. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> Melody probably does. She seems really good at this game. No, I have no idea, but my guess. Vator Vapor. Yes. Um, I think it is the fart of a vampire alligator. God damn it! <laughs> Pity point goes to Melody, but no, that's God wrong. God damn it! It is so a, good! The answer is the smell of an elevator. Oh. Vator Vapor. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> All right. Sense. Melody. This is a definition. I need the word. Okay. It was submitted by Devil X Dog. Devil was spelled D three V one L though, so you know he's totally <laughs> cool. <laughs> February third, two thousand nine. For one's head to explode under extreme mental pressure. Mind blown. The answer is blow your mind. But yeah, same. Yep. Ah, yeah. So, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, man, dude, she's you, you got you her good. layups. I need goddamn Vader vapor. <laughs> All right. TNT. Here yes. we go. Your question. Yeah. yeah. Submitted this by. Is worth, this is worth seven points, right? Uh, she has seven. You have two. Yeah, I don't even know if you can so, pull this off. So this is a seven-point question right here, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. This was submitted by Big Johnny. July, oh, yeah. July 9th, 2002. Sexual intercourse without a rubber. Raw dog. That is correct. See, oh my not God. the only one getting fucking... That was seven points. I'm winning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I'm not winning. This one here oh is my by God. Crispy2k8, April 13th, 2008. What is a flurg? F-L-E-U-R-G-H. Flurg. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. Ugh. Good luck. A flurg. Is hmm somebody who's chunky and doughy, like they eat a lot of flour, and is as large <laughs> as an iceberg. So a very large, overweight man <laughs> or woman. That is so wrong. <laughs> it, it isn't correct, but I like I like where you went on that. TNT. A flurg. Hmm. I think a flurg is uh. When Fergie from the pop group, what was the name of that group? Help me out here. Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, there you go. Fergie <laughs> from the Black Eyed Peas uh, trying out for a part in 
uh, Flubber. <laughs> <laughs> the remake of Flubber. <laughs> yeah. All right, that, that's wrong, but I'm giving you the pity point on that. They one. call right. it Flurg. Is uh, that all right? <laughs> yeah. No, oh, that's wrong. Okay. Yeah, that's wrong. But one more, one more for you, Dynamite. You actually cannot win. There's no way what you could possibly win. Yeah, yeah can we get the definition? It is a word to describe a really annoying person. That's Ugh. the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Okay. <laughs> Lame. Uh, and then TNT. That one's about catching on. <laughs> TNT, your final question that will at best make you two points behind. <laughs> <laughs> what is? This was submitted by PUD on August 23rd, 2004. What is a cock slob? <laughs> well, Jonas. <laughs> This is what you did to me just the uh, last weekend. Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, whatever. I did it back. It was oh. mutual. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just go. Let's just go there with it then. I mean, you brought this on yourself. Um, it is the act of giving fellatio to a bro. That is, that's incorrect. Okay, well, you know. Sometimes it's not the the best answer. <laughs> <laughs> Melody, you got is, one. You want to try? Are we not allowed to ask if it's a verb or a noun, right? I mean, no, it's, it's, it's yeah. a noun. This one's for sure a noun. It's not kind of a noun. Oh, okay, it's a noun. <laughs> the person who is a cock slob. Uh, I think it's when you hmm, a person who gives. Oh shit! You just said that. And then they say gives really sloppy head and leaves <laughs> shit everywhere. <laughs> Or like gum in your mouth and just leaves it all over the dish. Wow. Whoa. Like, like a like a fucking gum condom when you're done. <laughs> just fucking goes over. Now, that sounds like a cock slab to me. It actually is a person that takes on as many cocks as possible. So a slut. Oh, oh. that makes sense too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it is so, sloppy with. I, when you say cover the dick with gum, I have to give you the pity point. So final score. <laughs> Set uh, eight to four, Melody. Yeah, you have job. you have killed the dragon. You <laughs> slayed him. Slayed. <laughs> All right, so let me ask you this: even if Slate you are small. on as another a guest host again, will you come back on and defend uh, or at least give TNT a rematch so he can become the champion again? Yeah, I'd love to. The Crazy Town Podcast. All right, and we are back on the Crazy Town Podcast, joined once again by a special guest, Miss Melody Pang. Welcome back to the Crazy Town Podcast. Thanks for having me back. Happy no, to be here. Yeah, no problem at all. I mean, we got to try to give TNT some sort of redemption at RU Urban. He was the he was the champion until you dethroned him. So I will not be <laughs> I will not be gentle this time. <laughs> oh, <that's> Bring it! it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> all right, so well, you want to tell everybody where uh, you want to tell everybody where they can find you online if they want to check you out your website or Twitter or whatever. Yeah, sure. Um, you guys can find out. Sorry, let me start over. What am I trying to say? Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys can find me on Twitter at mpeng11. That's M-P-E-N-G-1-1 and at melodypeng.com. All right. Good deal. Are you guys ready to get this rematch of the ages on for uh, Are You Urban? <sighs> I guess let's, so. Let's fucking go. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, TNT, as the challenger and non-champion, I'll give you the choice. Do you want to go first or do you want to go second? As true champions always do, we go first. Let's go. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. No fear. No fear. All right. <clears throat> this word, this is just a, for, for all the people who've never listened to Are You Urban before, Are You Urban is our urban dictionary-based game. We either will give you the word, and you guys have to come up with the definition, or we'll give you the definition, and you have to come up with the word. Um, if you get it right on your first opportunity, it's one point. If you miss it and the opponent gets it, they get two points. If neither one of you get it, I give a pity point to someone for the most creative answer. Pretty, pretty cut and dry. So TNT, your first word was submitted to Urban Dictionary by three points on October 24th, 2005. What is a farticle? <laughs> <laughs> I would think that a particle is a, a a single particulate that is expelled from the anus uh during a during flatulence. 
I'll, I'll give it to you. The t- he he wrote the particles of air contaminated after someone let out gas. So that was pretty, that was pretty close. We'll give you that. <laughs> All right. All right. One nothing. That was a layup. I like layups. All yeah. right. <clears throat> Melody. This yes. was this was submitted to by, to Urban Dictionary by Jolo Belolo. <laughs> J O L O B A L O L O on November twentieth, two thousand thirteen. What Ugh. is what is quati? Q U O T T Y pronounced quati. Q U O T T Y. Yes. Man, I feel like you had a really easy one. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> hey, they're random. I absolutely put them in random order. I can give you a sentence. He did put a sentence with his definition. Quaddy. Okay, yeah, that would be great. Okay. Hey, man, don't you think Fight Club was such a great movie? Yeah, I do. That was such a quaddy movie, I'd love to watch it again. Brad Pitt was really quaddy in that movie. <laughs> uh, okay, so... <laughs> I'm a, look, I can't help you. Jolo Belolo isn't, isn't a grammar expert, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Hmm, so as it pertains to, fight, how would I describe Fight Club? It was, okay, I think it means badass slash trippy. That is correct. It means really what? awesome, great, good, badass. Well, slang yeah. for quality. This girl's a ringer. Uh, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Lucky this guess. I know, right? She She just pulls them out from everywhere, man. All right. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> There's no context there. <laughs> anyway. All right, there. What's next? All right, TNT. This one is a definition. Yeah. It was it was submitted by Kit Apostrophe Chin on August twenty second, two thousand three. The hair on your the hair on the back of your neck that is nappy or untamable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. So this is this is Urban Dictionary. Yes, yes. I can give you a sentence. There's also a sentence. All right. You're going to have to give me the blank. I want you to give me the word I, back. I, I won't. I won't. Damn, your blank look messed up, or man, your blank is looking like Whoopi Goldberg's armpit. Wow. <laughs> so, so informative, right? Um, well, look, you know, there was there was a term that, that Martin Lawrence coined for this. I'm going to assume that maybe this is the one that they're going for. Um, I'm going to have to go for a buckshot for uh, 500 Alex. <laughs> buckshot is not correct. Oh, all right, man. That's you have fine. a buzzer ready? I know, dude. Uh, Just, yeah, uh, it's coming. Uh, it's coming. It's gonna be a late buzzer, but it, it'll be here. All right, Melody, do you, do you have do you have an idea for a steal? Remember, there's still the pity point out there. Oh my god, no idea, but I'll give it a shot. Can I get the definition one more time? Yes. It says <clears throat> the hair on the back of your neck that is nappy and untamable. Um. <sighs> I'm going to go with mm, neck weeds. <laughs> neck, <laughs> there it is. neck weeds is not correct. The actual neck answer weeds. is kitchen. So the name actually the gave it away. Fuck, Jonas? The guy's name was kitchen, and it was his kitchen. But I'm going <laughs> to the, the, the pity point goes to Melody for neck weeds. Yeah. Yeah, she gets it. All right. <clears throat> Actually, yeah, so, all right. This Fucking one goes to Melody itches. first. <clears throat> it's a definition. I have, and then you have to guess the word. It was okay. uh, put on Urban Dictionary April 12th, 2005 by John Stewart. I doubt it's the real one. Yeah, maybe. You don't know. The definition, tall, skinny kid with long, dangly arms, long stride. Well, I, uh, uh, is this a noun or an adjective? It's an adjective. Oh, oh, a canonical term for this. It's an adjective. Gangly. That is not what John Stewart put down. That is. Oh, can I, can I come in with the steel? You, you can, TNT. <laughs> is it lanky? It is lanky. Hey! 
dying. Curtis, yeah. <laughs> no. All right. So the score after four <laughs> words. So tight right now. We have six words left. Score is three TNT, two melody. So, all right, TNT. I didn't do it. This was submitted by Cornholio on October <laughs> <laughs> on October thirty first, two thousand three. What is an ankle biter? What? <laughs> an ankle biter refers to to children. That's correct. That okay. is correct. What? Yeah. <laughs> it said what, a, you kid, never heard a little kid a rug rat. No. Really? Well, ankle biter. Do they bite their ankles? Oh, it's just that they're short and they're low to the ground and they just climb all over you. Oh, wow, yeah. Well. <laughs> I had never heard that till I till I saw this on Really? Mission. Yeah, I don't I don't think so. I guess I'm more familiar with the pejoratives used for children. All right. <laughs> so. I guess so. All right, Melody. This one this yeah. one I think you can totally get. It's it was it was submitted by the internet on September twelfth, two thousand three. What is Uh-oh. NSFW. Not safe for work. Correct. Fuck. Oh. Man, some of them are softball, some of them are impossible, yeah. man. You know? Yeah, that was the layup. Kitchen was ridiculous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> very true, very true. But you know, there's somebody out there who was maybe listening to this podcast going to go, I totally knew kitchen. I mean, come on. <laughs> okay, TNT. We're down to yes. four words. This one is a definition. Okay. It was submitted by Bob the Cock. God damn it, Bob the Cock. <laughs> On March, March 18th, 2003. To fiend excessively, to crave heavily. To fiend six. Okay, can you give me uh, a sentence? I'm blank for a line. I'm going to go see, look, this is like one of those one. It, Look, a moment to digress here. I could go with the funny answer and possibly get the pity point, or I could go with what I actually think it is and possibly fuck up my champ. I'm going to go with Jones. It's the strategy of Are You Urban, my friend. I'm I'm (laughs) going to go with Jones. And that is actually the correct answer. Fucking (laughs) right now. (laughs) Yes. All right. All right. Man, you guys are getting some right on this one. All right. (laughs) All right, <clears throat> we got three words left. Uh, Melody, this is your last definition. Uh, it, it was submitted by Foof on March 27th, 2003. Yes, of course. A small, unintended defecation that incurs when one relaxes the anal sphincter to fart. A <laughs> shark! <laughs> that is correct. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Always wanted to know the definition for that. You've never I, heard shark before? Yeah, I mean, I have, but I've never heard, like, an actual definition spoken aloud well, for it. Well, just, it's kind of known. Well, foof fucking came through in the clutch, man. Yeah. I think I went to school with that guy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two words left. TNT are up by one point. So oh, it's, def- it's still anybody's game right now. Yeah, take it. This is your last word to to start with. What is... This was submitted by Pro99, August 22nd, 2013. What is Richard Donor? (sighs) Richard Donor. Could could, could I have the the country of origin? Uh, United States. (laughs) All right. Can I have have it uh, used in, in a sentence? Yes. Do the best you can without giving it away. I don't want the people to think that you're feeding me anything. This is 100% going in here blind, people. You are. You are, absolutely. Um, I'm trying to figure out a way I can put this. Uh, Richard Donor. I'm hooking up with Richard Donor tonight. <laughs> oh, wow. Richard Donor. Uh, this is... The the man that a woman hooks up with as like a fuck buddy because he donates his Richard to her vagina. <laughs> and you're actually correct. <laughs> there is it's either it's either a na- a male prostitute or a man used for casual sex. Only his dick is required, and the name of the man is unknown. 
<laughs> that is amazing. I cannot believe you got that. I swear to God. <laughs> I thought I was being totally off. I, well, I was going for the funny point there. Well, I'm not we're even going to go. Well, I mean, we're going to play the last word anyways, but unfortunately, Melody, you are not able to win oh. because you can only get one point on this, and you would the, the one he stole from you is going to be the game decider on this one. So, But we'll go with this, last, this last one. What oh, is – oh, this was submitted by Jamie – on August 12, 2003. What is a ball bag? B A W B A G. B A W B A G. No, B is in boy. B A W B A G. A ball bag. A ball bag. You got this one. I'm actually. <laughs> um, I can I get can I get this word in a sentence too? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Jamie put one down. Look, you fucking ball bag. You were about as useful as a tit with no nipple. <laughs> that that illuminates everything, honestly. Uh, yeah, I feel like that kind of defines it, right? <laughs> That's awesome. I feel a, a ball bag is obviously someone who's super useless, but probably in the context of, like, the Karen group of friends, the one that nobody likes, but who tags along everywhere anyway. Yeah, it says, derogatory name given to one is annoying, useless, or just plain stupid. <laughs> that's awesome. So, so basically, every every answer, it ended up being 6 to 5 TNT. So, that's a slugger. So, so nope, now, not- now it's 1 to 1. So, Melody, are you going to come back and challenge one more time, best 2 out of 3 at some point? <laughs> Yeah, I'd love to. All right, all right. We'll have to figure that out here. We'll let him uh, get some get some other competition in over the next couple shows, and I'll definitely get back with you to uh, have your have your rematch. So, Melody, yeah, I learn so Melody, much every time. You are a worthy <laughs> opponent. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you very much. Yeah, Give me back my fucking you. belt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll make you an actual belt. It'll just have some nut sacks, a nut sack on it. Like, that's all it'll be. It'll just be like a nut sack you wear around your neck. Ooh. It's a choker now. Ooh. A choker. <laughs> a choker with like a ball bag hanging from it. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Melody. You want to tell everybody one more time, real quick, like your website and your Twitter in case they want to follow you, and uh, and we'll go from there. Sure. My website is www.melodypeng.com, and you can find me on Twitter at m p e n g one one. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on again, and we'll be right back. The Crazy Town Podcast. And welcome back to the anniversary show of the Crazy Town Podcast with Jonas, TNT Dynamite, and we now have, joining us once again, Miss Melody Pang. Woo! Go and say hello to everybody. Hi, guys. I'm excited to be back. We are always excited to have you on the show as well. Do you uh, want to tell everybody out there where they can find you on the interwebs if they want to uh, book you for some things or just check out what you've done previously? Yeah, sure. I'm pretty active on Twitter. I'd say that's my uh, media of choice. <laughs> you can follow me at mpang11 and also on my website at www.melodypang.com. Awesome. Awesome. Well, uh, are you guys ready to do this Are You Urban thing? Third times the charm, thriller in Manila battle, or what? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little, I'm a little nervous, but I, you know, you know, I'm fine. You're fine. I've been I'm... working in the gym a little bit. <laughs> you been the Are You Urban yeah, gym? Getting doing my antidote push-ups and. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm ready. All right. Well, since you currently TNT are the champion, Melanie, I will let you choose a number between one and ten first, and see. Uh, and then I'll let him pick whoever's closest to go. We'll get to pick if they go first or second. All right. Are these whole numbers? Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, every <laughs> every decimal from, from one to a million. Go. No. One, uh, one to ten. Eight. Eight? I choose pi. <laughs> okay. Well, the real number was three, so you're closest with pi. <laughs> Hell, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, do you want, do, TNT, do you, do you want to go first or do you want to go second? I'll go second. Okay. All right. So for everyone out there who hasn't listened and heard Are You Urban before, which, come on, is nobody. Everyone knows how this works. Basically, it is an Are You Urban – Are You Urban is an urban dictionary-based game. I will give the players either a word or give them the definition, and they have to give me the answer or the word. 
the first person gets one point. If they miss it, the second person gets two points. If nobody gets it, I give one pity point, and that is just so somebody gets a score. And Melody, are you uh are you ready to go first? I guess so. All right. This first word was submitted to Are You Urban or to Urban Dictionary on February eighteenth, two thousand five, by Frelly. Of course, Frelly. Frelly. Yeah. The word is what is dogging? Dogging. Wow. She doesn't know this. She- <laughs> I have like a couple that I could. Oh and, man! And I, I do have a sentence here. If you'd like me to use it yeah. in a sentence from Frelly, to ask for that. Why are you soliciting information? This is tilted. <laughs> Can I have a sentence? This is bullshit. Uh, the sentence is: I went dogging last night at the local park. It was a jolly good fun. Oh wow! That is not at all what I thought it was going to be. Um, shoot. Okay, well, let's see. dogging. This is terrible. I don't know. Um, she went, she was walking her dog. Walking the dog. That is not correct. Where's the buzzer, TNT? Are you on oh, top of shit? Oh, you're right, man. I don't have to. And you're wrong. His prof- <laughs> your professionalism <laughs> is so low. I just woke up too, all right? <laughs> so, look. Uh, so, I'm guessing it comes to me next, huh? It does come to you. Are you going to steal? All right, look. This is just going to illuminate my deviant nature a little bit more here but dogging is it's a british sex act in which a girl inside of her car pleasures groups of men (laughs) wow Wow. that's what it is (laughs) um i i can't give it to you but i'm gonna give you the pity point so i'll give you one instead of two the what Frelly says it's it's where people meet up in park car parks and watch each other have sex. Sometimes other people okay. join in, okay. but it's mainly about watching and getting yeah, off. To you got to step your porn your porn hub game up a little, Melody, if you want to <laughs> compete with me with the with wow. the deviant terms. Wow, wow, wow! I've seen some dogging videos in my life. <laughs> oh my god! Just wait, they have videos of people watching other people yeah, in cars. Man. I guess I guess they probably have everything on the internet. So exactly. Okay. All right. TNT. Your word. What this was submitted on May 29th, two thousand sixteen, by Men Do with like four O's. Okay. Yeah. If it was three O's, I know that. Guy. Yeah. Right. 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 The four O's. Know. Yeah. Right. All right. Mm. What is before face? Before face? Before face. Before face is the face that a person has prior to the surprise. Close, Close. but no cigar. Right, I'll give myself the buzzer. All right, Melody? Hmm. I think before face is... Your face before you go out on a Saturday night and get completely wasted. <laughs> no, that is not correct either. It is actually the face you make right before you bust. <laughs> I should have known that. <laughs> so it's it's right before the O face is the before face. Yeah, I should have known that. All right. That, the, you, that you before closest, face is ugly too. TNT, That's an ugly You were closest, face. so I'll give you the, the pity point just That's because you have a pretty face. Words are so dirty. I'm sensing a theme. <laughs> no, they're not all. They're not all dirty. They just started that way, I guess. I randomized them. Jo- so. Jonas hasn't been getting right. any lately. This one, I'm giving you the definition, and you have to give me what it is. It was submitted by Flowers in Midgar, October 24, 2006. Uh, the definition is the sphincter of the internet where integrity goes to die. Wikipedia. Oh, no, that's not correct. Damn. TNT, you got one? Dude, is it the dark web or the deep web? Because that's where I would think it would be. The the answer that Flowers and Midgar gave was 4chan. 4chan! (laughs) Which we've talked about on the show before. Melody, have you ever ever heard of 4chan? 4chan? 
four chan. It's the number four C H A N. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. A- yes, it is definitely where integrity goes to die. That's absolutely correct. I mean, what? It, I guess I'll have to give the pity point to the dark web. I can't give it to Wikipedia. Oh, man, that's awful. Yeah, Wikipedia. Three pity points, guys. I'll you take step it. Your, I know. I'm trying. Step your Are You Urban game up. All right, Melody, shake the dust off. All right, I TNT. This, I don't want you to make this too easy on me. TNT. This word was submitted on June 18th, 2003 by Nunya Bidness. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, he's my favorite. He's absolutely my favorite. Floridian. The definition is a whole lot of chusets. A whole lot of chusets. Yes. Matt, can I have the country of origin? It's American. <laughs> In Massachusetts. <laughs> it actually is Massachusetts. God damn it. That was <laughs> <laughs> I fucking did not think either of you guys would get that. How would you not? It's so easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. All right. All right, Melody. I thought that was clever, so I threw it in there. All right, Melody. You're falling falling behind. I think I think playing first thing in the morning kinda kinda No, it's 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 luck of the draw. It's luck of the draw, is it? All right, you ready, Melody? I think so. This is was submitted July fifteenth, two thousand four, by Corinna. The word is gloopy. Oh my god! Gloopy. Gloopy. G l o o p y. Man, I actually thought gloopy was an actual word. Is it just? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the context of this entire thing, I feel like I, it's something incredibly dirty that is I'm just an- like. Yeah, is this another like, porn word? <laughs> that just... everything is a porn word. Get your mind out of the gutter, well, TNT. You the one with the the whole damn segment spit in the gutter with what you've been <laughs> giving us. Except for Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty. Which I totally. That was, could have that was just a dad. That was just a dad joke in the, in the dad in the joke guys mixed into Are You Urban? Yeah. Uh, I think gloopy is just um, a description for a gooey, clear liquid. I'll go ahead and give it to you. It, it, the definition is a what? thick, gooey, liquid-like substance. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, close. Yeah. You didn't left the thick part out, but yes, yeah. All right, I'll, <laughs> I'll give that one to you. That's what she said. <laughs> Wait, does that even fit? I don't know. She left it. May, part out. It may or may not fit. All right, TNT. Yeah. This one is a word, and you have to give me the definition. It was submitted by Fuzzy BB on July 19th, 2009. Fuzzy BB. (laughs) Yes, you know they are classy if they're a Fuzzy BB. What is pointy elbows? I don't like the way you laughed like you knew what this was. (laughs) (laughs) There, Melody. Uh... What is pointy elbows? What what part of speech is this? Is this a noun, a verb? Uh, am I allowed to ask that? Is... I feel like I am. It's an adjective. Oh, okay. Kind of. Who can I have yeah. a country of origin? It's American. Okay. They all are, as always. I don't know. Dog, yes, dog, dog, time. Dogging is definitely European. Uh Pointy elbows is when you uh you have elbows that are pointy, like acute elbows. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking double buzzer you on that shit. Give right, it twice. Well, fine, look. There's one. Do it again. I will. Hold on. It takes a second. So your answer to pointy elbows is when you have pointy elbows. I don't even look! <laughs> Fair you, enough. You come up with something. I'm on the spot here. All right. All right. Melody? Oh, my gosh. I actually hoped he was right because I don't have any idea. <laughs> all right. Got to gotta get something. You she's, gotta, she's got it. She's throw got something it. out there. There's a pity point up the stake here. She's got it. Are we allowed to ask for it in a sentence or no? If you, yeah. I, yeah, there's a sentence here. Okay. Uh, it, it says... Uh, guy one, dude, I would so hit Jessica Alba multiple times until she cried for mercy. Guy two, meh, she has pointy elbows. I don't know if that's <laughs> helpful, but I don't know what that means. Even still. <laughs> Man, she has a sexy bod. 
Uh, I, it, that's that's not right, but I'm, I'll give you the pity point because you just didn't say the same is word. This, is this a nipple joke? No, it says a stock reply to the question of whether a woman is hot. The guy is either being sarcastic or homosexual. Oh, I get it. Do you like Jessica Alba? Nah, she has pointy elbows. Kind of like, I don't know, it's fucking... Oh. Like, you don't know if they're, like, attractive or not. I don't... It's like saying she's a fox, but, like, she's pointy. She got some pointy elbows. (laughs) She got some... That girl got some pointy elbows. She's got some pointy elbows. (laughs) All right. Good job. By the way, here's your buzzer, because I forgot to give it to you earlier. Oh, there you go. There you Way go. to keep on track. Well, you know, I've been drinking. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got to start drinking early in the morning. Nine o'clock in the morning. Okay. This is a a phrase, and I and you have to give me the word. All right. This is for Melody. You go second. Is it? Yes. Oh, yeah, you're right. Melody, this was submitted to Urban Dictionary by Will C., on December 12th, 2003. So it's pushing 15 years old. Wow. A phrase used to describe the act of two holes or openings pounding or touching each Dude, other. Dude, this whole segment <laughs> has been pornographic. <laughs> this We're could s- be like, I could put my my my, my hand, two no. circles, and put them together. We have had so many fetishes. Pointy <laughs> elbows, fucking part sex. Just park sex. Park oh, park sex. sex. Oh, I got you. And now we're talking about two apertures grinding. I'm, this, just, this is not. This this isn't a. There's no. No. Let her answer a question. <laughs> wow. Don't help. He's her. trying to throw you off, Mel. He's trying her. to keep you off your game. I'm more just surprised <laughs> with you. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of. Can you can you repeat that with two holes touching each other? <laughs> <laughs> A phrase used to describe the act of two holes or openings pounding or touching each other. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is what we've become. <laughs> this is what we've become. This is what we've become. We've been, we've been brought down to this. Or opening. Grinding or touching each other. Wait, it was grinding or touching each other, right? Pound, Pounding or pounding. touching each other. Pounding, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a little bit more visceral. Will, Will C didn't mention grinding. I guess maybe maybe it would it would fit fit in there. Two holes pounding. Pound, pound, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The p word. The p word. There's a little bit of there's a little <laughs> a little anger on their faces while it's happening. And it's two words. It's a yeah. It's it's a phrase. Yeah, I'll give you guys that. Double dong. <laughs> That's not correct, but I do like I do like where you're going. How is that double dong? TV, TNT, can you steal it? Hell no, I can't steal what it, you dude. Got? Well, see, my mind is thinking tripping, but I know <laughs> that's not it. Because you said it's not pornographic. Can I can I have it used in a sentence? Uh, Ellen DeGeneres enjoys blank. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what Will C put down. Oh wait. <laughs> Can I change my answer? Please do. I'll, I'll, I'll give, I'll give you I'll give you a reprise. Yeah, go ahead. I'm not mad at that. No, 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 that's cheating. No, I don't want to. No. TNT has to go first. I'll okay. go. All right. Yeah, you can throw it out after he's done. What do you got? Dude, is it tripping? It's not tripping. It's not tripping. Because <laughs> I would think that some she would do. You what guys your, at home look that up. What, what's your what's your what's your backup answer? Is it scissoring? No, no. That's, that's what. That's what. No, I no. To. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give the double dong the. Yeah, she the, earned it with that. All right. One. What's she's, the she's only down by one point. She's what? she's coming back. Shoot. The answer is bumping donuts. Oh my gosh! Nobody says that. <laughs> it was no. from 2003, Melody. It's 15 years old. <laughs> bumping. <donuts. laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that. In my life. <laughs> bumping donuts. Don't don't shake your head, TNT. I am shaking my head. Don't don't worry about that. You got you ready for your word? You're I'm as ready as I can be at this point in time, Jonas. All right. This one was submitted by Roro Glam on <laughs> to June first, two thousand four. The last episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. <laughs> Roro Glam. Yeah. Has ended the season. Yeah, right. No shit. The walk across campus in the same clothes is yesterday. Oh, come on. She knows it. You don't know this? 
This is the walk of shame? It is the walk okay, of shame. Okay, sweet Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, I seriously had a heart attack. I was like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Woo. Holy cock. Wow. Wow. Oh, Jesus. Sweet, Jesus. Sweet Jesus, Pecker. All right. Glad, glad. Glad, you, glad you came through in the clutch on that one. All right, Melody. You still have a chance. Oh, it's my God. five to three with two words left. I want an easy one. Please. I don't think either one left is easy. <laughs> this is just a word, though. You give me the definition. What is splunge? Oh, my God. So you just make, like, these guttural noises. <laughs> the next time, is this going to be, what is... <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> this was submitted by Elsie on May 15th, 2004. Oh, God. Splunge. Can I get it in a sentence, please? Yes. Uh, Larry says, right now, I want your opinion of my idea. Second person. Splunge. <laughs> um. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, the next... I, don't, I don't create these words. The next... We give credit where credit's due I'm on the crazy you, the, ne- the next one, the next word is going to be him destroying a keyboard up against the wall. He's going to be like, what's this? <laughs> TNT, what is? <laughs> exactly. Uh, sponge means um, to spill, to open up, to speak your mind. Uh-huh. Uh, that, was awfully that was very wholesome, <laughs> Melody. <laughs> that is not the correct answer. You feel warm inside. Where's the buzzer? Oh, that you wasn't are. the right your, answer? Your, your journalistic integrity is... I didn't know it wasn't the wrong answer. I said it was the wrong answer. Oh, now I know. Now you know. Knowing's half the battle. Dude, let's just buzz me now, because, uh... Well, you got to throw something out there. All right, give me give me the part of speech. It's it's an exclamation. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> uh, I'm an exclaimer. Splunge is... Like, uh... An, an excited, an excited way of showing positivity, like a verbal thumbs up. Yeah, girl, splunge. <laughs> that was pretty wholesome too. <laughs> you guys, I know this is like, are you urban? You guys are like children's books. I feel like we've had enough debauchery <laughs> in the first, in the latter half of the, or in the first half. The first of half. Yeah. That's incorrect as well. Oh. shit. See, I said give me this. So you said it, it was a positive exclamation, and what? What did you say, Melody? It was what? It was a positive exclamation. No, she said uh, which. Like, oh, open up, go ahead, spill. Okay. Oh yeah. It means it's a great idea, but possibly not, and I'm being indecisive. So basically, it's just something to throw out when you don't want to give your opinion. So it's like the guy goes, "I want problem. your opinion of my idea," and the person goes, "Splunge." <laughs> basically it's a response when you have nothing to say we are not gonna make splunge catch on we're not gonna have that happen i mean it's it's 14 years old man it was hot in the streets in 04 it was never hot in the streets <laughs> this was how never. would you know you weren't even being hot in the streets in 04 That's true i wasn't alive then, so. <laughs> yes yes you weren't alive in 04 true millen- true millen- you realize you'd be a teenager in high school well, right what's now. the next word jonas <laughs> um i God, who the fuck do I give the pity? I don't even know if, like, those are, both like, were terrible. They, that give was, it to yourself. <laughs> Jonas, <laughs> Jonas has one pity point there you for go. giving the word. There you go. Wow. Look at you on the board. All right. Woo! <laughs> All right. You're on the board. Last word, TNT. All right. What is? Okay. This was submitted by Without a Martyr. You know it's serious. Did he spell it right, at least? Uh, M-A-R-T-Y-R? Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. All right. Beautiful. It was November 11, 2006. What is andorexia? No, I'm sorry. Adorexia. There's no N. A-D-O-R-E-X-I-A. Adorexia. Adorexia. Can I, can I have it used in a sentence? Um, I'm trying to think if I can use this sentence because it kind of gives away. All right. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah, I, sure, I, I can't, certainly I don't can't. know ahead of time. It gives it gives away it just, gives away the word. I can't any any inkling that. Yeah, I he have definitely has idea. no fucking inkling when these words are coming up. He hides them from me. Uh, <laughs> I keep them in a locked box. And or oh no, no. A- adorexia. Adorexia. Yeah. We'll see. Being in the medical field, I know what the exia 
suffix means. Yeah, and you uh, know it's so technical because it's Urban Dictionary. Everybody uses suffixes adore properly. Axia. I think it is uh, that long period of time that you have without a girlfriend or receiving <laughs> <laughs> physical congenial visitation from a, a significant other or anybody else. <laughs> what is that? Why is your phone talking? Why is your phone on journalistic integrity? I didn't say. Oh, I didn't say. Did you yeah, say Siri? He he. Okay, googled it. I didn't okay Google, but uh, yeah, is that right? Like, no, that is long term. Lo- long, long, long term, like alone. No, that's that a, is incorrect. All right, Melody, can you get the steal? Uh, maybe. <laughs> if you get the correct answer, you'll tie. But if you if you if you only settle for a pity point, you'll still be down by one. You have to get the correct answer. Gosh, no pressure. No pressure at all. Mm. Adorexia. No, no, no. Say say it right for adorexia. There's no end. It's adorexia. A D O R. Adorexia. Adorexia. Yeah. However you want to pronounce it, man. Adorexia. I thought it was like adore to adore somebody. Exia. You. It is A D O R E X I A. All right, well, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Melody, what you got? Hmm. I'm actually pulling for you, Mel. Are you? I you want to go to Thrill of Manila Overtime? Dude, I like Melody. I want to have her on again. I want to wonder if she's a fucking competitor. We'll have her on again. Even if I'll do a whole show, man. I'm going to have her on again. Oh, you're, that's just, you're just <laughs> talking her up right now? <laughs> I honestly have no idea. Adorexia. I think it's when... Someone is into super petite girls who are really, really tiny. That's a good guess. And I will give you the pity point for that. That was close. But that yeah. is not, that is not, no, no, it's not even close. Oh, it's not even no, close. No, no, no. no, adorexia, according to Without a Martyr, is a condition characterized by freedom from worry. What? So basically carefree, no worries. It's adorexia. I have no idea where this motherfucker even made this word up at. It may be a real... You're getting your buzzer late, but it's happening. Wow. TNT, <laughs> you won the thrill in Manila 5-4, to four, and Jonas had a point. Yeah. <laughs> Good, they gave a ref a point. I don't, I don't know how that happened, honestly. Well, I, was... I mean, Melody, let me ask you this. You'll come back on again and play uh, Our Urban Down the Road, will you? Yeah, I'd love to. I feel like I need to, like, brush up on my porn beforehand, though. (laughs) Right, right. You got to sit around and study. We're going to have a long talk, Melody, after this (laughs) this segment. Yeah, maybe we'll do do an entire show again. So, but, uh, (laughs) so, Melody, we've made it a year on the podcast. And, uh, so we're just, uh, we're revisiting everyone. Did you have, did you have a special moment from, from, I'm just kidding. I'm just being a dick. So, but we we do want to thank you for being part of our first year of our podcast. Yeah, thanks a lot. And we do want to invite you back again. Um, Do you want to tell everybody again where they can find you and everything before we let you go? Uh, So that way, if they were impressed by your Are You Urban skills, they can get you on a game show or something. Uh, Just for the record, my Are You Urban skills are usually better. But yeah, you can find me online um, on Twitter at mpang11 and on my website at www.melodypang.com. Awesome. The awesome. wonderfully talented, beautiful, vivacious, intelligent, meta-diddly-diddly pain. Wow, wow. Did you just call her meta diddly <laughs> Oh my gosh, people butcher my name all the time. I'm like, <laughs> a word in the English language. <laughs> Why? Right, yeah, it's not, it's not a challenging name, really. It's, it doesn't, you know, rolled off the tongue wrong. Right? <laughs> meta diddly <laughs> Wow, how did you fucking manage to do that? That's her new name now. <laughs> oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Well, thank you so much, Melody, and uh, we, uh, we we hope to have you on again, and uh, we will be right back on the Crazy Town Podcast. t and Yeah. She was the only one. Who's ever fucking beat you? Yeah, but like Percy Jackson, I rise from the, the ashes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. She's a skilled ass competitor at that game, dude. Yeah, she's a very funny woman. She's very awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Shout out to Miss Melody Payne. So, but that is all the time we have for today's episode of the Are You Urban Anthologies. 
Thanks. Do you want to thank you all for listening? Yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, of course, once again, follow us on Twitch TV forward slash Crazy Town Media for the live podcast. Our YouTube videos on Crazy Town Media YouTube channel and at Crazy Town Media on Twitter. For Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we are out. <laughs>